let's burn through the intro quick. Let's run through it. Fuck you. Well, well, well. If I told you all of you guys this is the third time that we were recording the intro because we are dumbasses, <laughs> would you believe us? Because it's true. No uh, way, Jose. Yep, I had to restart my laptop. Every time I pressed record, it stopped recording. It might happen again, and if it does, we're going to the bar. We're going to start drinking because I can't <laughs> handle it anymore. This is episode 31, Shot of Wisco. Thanks for everyone listening. Thanks for everyone of, of joining the podcast uh, and being a part of our community. We have a lot to talk about today. And frankly, I don't want to go over it again because I've done it. Like I said, this is my third time. Third time going over it. We have a bunch of news. Um, Kyle's garden looks like shit. I mean, I mean, everything we talked about this here in a minute. Yeah, we talked about everything. Um, I got drunk last night. Shouldn't have, but I did. Uh, So it's been quite the day for core uh, today trying to get through. You don't throw up there. (laughs) Keep going. You know what annoys me is that big jug. I... No, 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 no. Put it, hold it up to the camera. I ate something spicy. I hate the ones that got the time on it. Like, oh, you have to drink this much in an hour. Oh, great. You got our sticker on it. That, that makes it better. So when I bought this, I didn't know it had the time on it. Cause I was trying to get away from. That's the people you make fun of at work. I guarantee it. But I will say it'll be like, nine oh, I'm, I'm yeah. One off the yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm really glad that you are, uh, watching how, or drinking all this water and, I'm glad that you are drinking all of that yeah, water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Fill up your water bottle with this. <laughs> I'm glad that you have all that water in there and that you're really checking the times uh, to make sure you're drinking enough by the certain... What time is it right now? 7 o'clock. What, what are you at? Are you not at 7? No. Drink to 7 right now. Chug, chug, chug. There's no way I'll vomit. No. Oh, my God. That's a long ways down. Drink to 7. Oh, my God. He's going to throw up. Okay. Yeah, he can. Show, first and foremost, show everyone. Or don't, or just keep. Trying. Get He's bringing the vibes, ladies and gentlemen. He's bringing the. Get it Am I hearing you through my headset? You're not at seven yet. Keep it rolling. That's got to be enough. You got to be at seven now. There's no way. You're gonna be past seven. All right, well, just think, Kyle. Uh, by the time we're done here, you're going to have to chug more. That's fine. Nine o'clock? Yeah, I just love, like, Nine Brandon, o'clock. I love that he's chugging this water. Like, he thinks he's just a full bill of health, but he's going to go home and just mash down some Doritos um, and not, uh, not, not bat an eye because he's drinking his full jug of water. I made some sugar cookies last night. Oh, I, I will say a good sugar cookie. Oh, man, that's, that's vibes. All right, so we're going to dive on in. Um, like I said, we have a lot to talk about. We are going to be doing a bunch of TikTok stuff. Like I said, I appreciate everyone that joins our community, likes listening to us, us idiots talk, and has really just joined the movement of uh, Wisconsin being talked about more, you know? Like, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, and Kyle's garden sucking. All right, and we're getting in. And we are back. Okay, so we are going to dive in. Um, lots to talk about. We both have three new segments. I actually have a couple extra segments that we're going to go. You want to talk about our day? Our, yeah. About our weekend? <laughs> okay. Um, you go first. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Father's Day. First Father's no, Day. No, 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 no. I'm not going Sunday to Saturday to Friday. I'm, I know, I know. First I'm Father's gonna, Day I'm weekend. Gonna, yeah, yeah. It was awesome. It was good. Um, Witt really, you know, Witt looked me in the eyes. He's six months old. Thanks, and he man. said, you are easily the best dad if you had to have, if you had a garden at home, Dad, it'd easily be better than Kyle's. That's what he said, word for word for what he said. Um, so, so Friday, um, didn't do anything Friday. Got a bunch of stuff done around the house, um, you know, Dad stuff. And then uh, Saturday, um, Saturday we were down at the Cove all day, hopped in the pool. Buckets of beer were flowing. Sun was out. Day was I was vibing. Sun's out, guns out. And then one one of our friends down there got out his blackstone, made hibachi for everybody. Mm. Um, and then we played bags, bags. We played bags for a while, and then uh, you know, plucked my seat right next to that campfire. Do in the morning. Where'd you go? Mm. <laughs> uh, yeah, I sent it to a pl- oblivion. Uh, got pretty drunk. Sunday woke up, made eggs for the, for the for Tia and. For a little Whitster, of course he's 
six months old, so we ate all of it. He ate his whole plate. Mm-hmm. Um, bacon and all everything. So um, made breakfast. Uh, Tia got me a she got me a Blackstone for for Father's Day, which was lit. Yeah, I knew about it. She sent me a picture. Yep, she sent all my friends it. So I kind of lost the joy when I sent everyone a picture. Like, oh look how cool my wife is. And I already <laughs> Loser. Every, everyone right. Yeah. <laughs> so, and then a lot of her family and some of my family came over to the house. I cooked brats and burgers on said Blackstone, and how is it? it was good. It was all, oh Blackstones are awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm 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 a believer. I'm You're a believer. Gonna... It's just like on cloud shoes. Just switch switches your just right over. Just take some time. Yep, yep. You just gotta you gotta give it a chance. It's basically just all you gotta dip do. Dip your toe in your gun. Um. So we did that. You know, I wasn't planning on getting drunk Sunday, and then you know the bush light peaches. I got them at uh Vans in East Dubuque, Illinois. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> Illinoisine, <laughs> and. Uh, went over there, got some bush light peaches. So I had about, f- you know, five. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to take it easy. And next thing you know, I had 12 of them. And I was pretty pretty drunk, pretty drunk by the time everyone left. Caller quits. And then... Uh, Be back there up with golf. Yeah. Yesterday... Okay, so here's the story. Yesterday, every Monday, all summer, I have golf, a, a beer golf league at our local golf course, Birchwood. Mm-hmm. Um, it's like five minutes from the house. So, me and my partner, Connor, uh, went to the mall. And it's almost like we like golfing, of course. Love golf. We love the, bush, the like the beer league, playing against other two other people. That's fun. But, like, the party starts when we get to the mall, our local tavern here, and we start playing Euchre. That's when the party starts. How many people come to the mall? We get, like, eight, eight guys, ten guys. That come, we all, everyone that, that's all that comes? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, people I th- I thought it was people don't want – they don't no. – yeah, we don't fuck around when we come to the mall. I we mean, play some euchre and we're tr- we're drinking beers. Nothing fucking going yeah, on. Yeah, well, they all sit at the Birchwood. So mm. we're we're at we're at the mall and we're playing our normal euchre. We're playing, you know, we're playing something like a dollar a bump, two bucks a game, something like that. So you know, we all like okay, we'll be we'll be out here, but we're usually out of there by ten to eleven o'clock, and that's perfect. You go home, you fall asleep, you wake up, you feel good. Uh, not sure what got into me. Uh, and we're not sure what got in the counter, but we were at the mall till one thirty. How'd um, that feel? Mistakes were made. Uh, you know, if this was my press conference, I definitely made mistakes. I had moments that I, mm-hmm. I had opportunities. You got to grow from them. That's all you got. Um, and I won't. You know, I've been doing this this <laughs> golf league for <laughs> ten years, uh, and I've been making the same mistakes. So you know, when people are buying you beers, you got to buy them back, and then mm-hmm. next thing you know, you're talking, having fun, and you know, it's just something. Just something else. So, Classic so I woke up shit. this morning at uh, six thirty uh, to get ready for work. That was uh, just a delight. When you're in bed by two o'clock, just delightful. When you wake up and you only have four hours of sleep, yeah, it is what it no is. Boy, no. So it's been quite the day. It's seven o'clock at night. I've been working, just doing a lot of things, get ready for our our summer launch. But that's it. What you summer. do? What you do? Summer. So I'm gonna start it off because I started oh, here we my go. weekend early here we go. last yeah. weekend. Mm-hmm. Went to Moline, went to a Cody Johnson concert. Mm-hmm. Wasn't a big fan. I mean, like, I knew his songs. You didn't like Human? Yeah, I did. But, uh, like, I once I seen him, like, fuck yeah, this guy's good. Oh, are you yeah, saying I mean, you weren't a fan before you saw him? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yep. Like, I'd never seen him before. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. he was really good. Randy Hauser was there, too. Oh. He was good. Um, what, what's Randy Hauser's song? Uh, Midnight. Running Out of Moonlight. R- running Out of Moonlight. Oh. Talk about an anthem. He was he was good. Uh, Cody Johnson was good. Getting home was at not good. One thirty in the morning and being up for work at five thirty really sucked. Yeah. Um, but did it. Survived. Heard it here first. Friday hung out. Don't think I did a whole lot Friday. Then Saturday I m- moved my ass up to the campground and got uh, there. Where, what, what campground? Blackhawk. There Lake. you go. Gotta give gotta um, give a shout out. And I had someone in our TikTok live say they were going to Blackhawk this weekend. No shit. Yep. I said, look out for Kyle podcast. Uh, extraordinary. extraordinary. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, went there. Mom and dad turned on and they left like 20 minutes after I was there because they had graduation parties. So I hung out with my uncle, two uncles, my brother, my grandma, and just drank beer for about n- like nine hours. And I was, uh, I was a little turned up by the time that campfire got lit up. Um, and then Sunday came back from the campground, hung out, went over to the L girlfriend's house for father's day with her father. 
Mm-hmm. That was nice. We made... Um, when you say girlfriend's house, but you guys live together, that feels weird. Yeah. You know? Yeah, like, you say her parents' house. She don't live there no more. She lives with you. Kyle, when are you going to propose? I don't know. Soon? I get that question a lot. For you've, you've been getting it for like three years now. Yeah. 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 Find out on the next episode, when's Kyle going to uh-huh. grow a set of balls? <laughs> <laughs> we made uh, pizza on the stone, the black stone. Mm-hmm. Look at us no, with this black not, stone. Not talk. a black stone. Pit boss. No? No. Uh, it was just, it was like a green egg. And then you oh, put, yeah, then yep, you put a yep. fire stone on mm-hmm. it. A, f- mm-hmm. a pizza stone. Yep. Um, heard it here first. Had that. was really good. Uh, ate way too many sweets with my brother-in-law. Oh, heard that. Heard that here first. Um, And that was pretty much it. Rolled into the week. Yep. Heard that here first. Yeah. It was yeah. a good weekend. Yeah. Great weekend. Um, Next weekend's going to be a doozy. Next weekend's a fucking doozy. Next weekend's gonna be wild. Saturday, Sunday golf outings. I will be sober. Did you get Did you get your team full? Uh huh. You did. Who you got? Zach joined us, so our teams are full. We're good. Don't worry about you. it. Don't worry about it. You're busy. So is it always the last weekend in June? Yes. I think Joe always tells me it's the last weekend in August. Nope. So I literally told Maggie two weeks ago. Hey, I should probably text Corey and see when the outing is. You did it, though. Forgot all about it. Yep, I'm sure you did. Kyle's just not the best friend, guys. I mean, I don't know what you guys... Shit. You guys are building him up because he's we beating are me in these lists. We are going to Saturday. Saturday is my favorite golf. You guys, you guys think... You guys build Kyle up because he beats me in these lists, which I don't know if people understand. I beat him in, like, the first five lists, and then I, I just kind of lost my mojo. I lost my swag. My swag's gone. My Wisconsin swag's... My, my swag's gone, Kyle, and it's... And it's bothering me because everyone in the in the list are like, "Oh, Kyle, Kyle, Kyle." Yeah, they like to see underdog win every now and again. It's not. It's, I'm the underdog now. No, nah, I don't think that's how it works. I, for sure. Um, okay, so we got to get into news. It's holy shit. We're 13 minutes in. People just listen to us for 10 minutes talk about the weekend. That's fine. All right. Um, I mean, I see a K. You go want first. me first? Yeah. Uh, okay. Construction worker dies at Lambeau after injuries. Uh, apparently, they didn't release what happened, but apparently he was a second-generation worker that worked with his father and his brother there. And OSHA's investigating him, but they haven't given us what happened. Assuming he fell, don't know, though. Could have something else. Working happened. on Lambeau yep. or at Lambeau? On Lambeau. They are, renov- are they renovating or yeah, something? Yeah, I believe so. They're adding well, some stuff our, to it. That's always, that's always a tough situation. You know, when you're doing, like, working on a big structure like that, I mean, there's always risk involved. Yeah. So, RIP, rest in peace, working on Lambo. That's cool. Uh, uh, no, that's not cool. Okay, that came out wrong. <laughs> but, ooh. Um, I was talking about, like, the generationals of, like, families working there. And yeah. that family was, like, cool. Mav did? Mavid? Mavid what? That's his name? Construction. Oh, Mavid Construction. Mavid construction. Okay, well, rest in peace. Um, you never like seeing that, especially when they're working. Um. All right, well, moving on from that bummer uh, <laughs> into some real weird, weird stuff going on. Oh, no, this one's not weird, actually. Sock Prairie teenager James Yablonski has been missing. Yablonski has been missing for over a week. Uh, um, and Lieutenant uh, Shram thinks he is trying to live off the grid and is a survivalist. Where's he missing at? So he in I said, Sauk County. I'm not sure what town. But that's where they think he's at. He's in the woods. Yeah, they think he just took off the woods wants to live off the land. He's 13. 1-3. Wow. Yeah. 13, and this kid's out in the woods. Anything? Brandon, when you were 13, you were still peeing your pants probably. So, <laughs> do, do they know if he took anything with him? Like, Yeah, oh, no, you know, they, the yeah he took a bunch gone. of food. He took a bunch of food, a bunch of like rations. So like th- this lieutenant's like no I think he's he's good he's in no harm he's just out living off the land. What the fuck? Yeah, that's crazy. I wonder what the, pa- are the parents saying. Saw it on channel it? three thousand. That's nuts. The parents say anything about it? I didn't see anything in the article. I just saw the thing about the lieutenant. Hmm. That's nuts. What were, in, when you were thirteen? There's no way in H E double hell. No. Double hockey. I was sticks. a boy scout too. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> If I got to hear that Kyle was a Boy Scout, you're terrible at starting fires. I, <laughs> What? Yeah. I'm a great fire starter. Th- there was one day that I didn't help you guys start the fire at the cove. That one day I was down there. And I just watched you guys struggle. Uh, we d- 
No. You are putting a bad light. Struggling. No, this is... I wouldn't say Core was there in the struggle. This is propaganda. No, this is fucking propaganda because you're putting... Letting everyone think that your fucking garden's perfect and that you're Mr. You're Mr. Boy Scout. You've never go outside anymore, Mr. Video Games. IT specialist. IT specialist. Bull... Log you remind me of the guy off bench warmers. The fucking Don't you <laughs> the blondie. The blondie. Dare. What's his name in it? Uh, uh it's Nick Schwartzen, but yeah. it's uh Howard. Howie. Howie. Howie, you're afraid of the sun. A guy that kills uh, people with name. I don't know. a guy a serial killer that kills people in town with a name that starts with H. Is that what it is? No, no. He says in the movie, he says He's like, oh, I'm shocked you came on the bus. He said, yeah, but apparently there's a serial killer running around, and he's killing guys or people with their name that, start, that is Howie. And he said, <laughs> that's, that's my name. name. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. So that's James Jablonski, that's crazy. I mean, obviously, you hope he's safe. 100%. But, like, I, if the lieutenant comes out and's like, so he must be talking to the parents, and the parents are like, oh, yeah, he's okay. Yeah, well, watch they go out, and they find him in, like, four years, and he has, like, a full civilization. Like, four yeah. Oh, he's got like a, like a, a cabin, like a smoke shed, and just he's got it all set. Living Boat, off the land, everything. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Dude's just fishing. Yeah. So people are built different. All right, Kyle, what do we got next? Next, Johnsonville pork sausage links, recalled for containing black plastic fibers. It's for forty thousand pounds, and. Where is my list at? I just had some Johnsonville brats yesterday. Yeah, you're going to fuck. Or two days ago. Good luck, man. Uh, 40,000 pounds of it. Sheboygan Falls is where it's at, the factory. Um, these were like the pre-packaged, pre-made. You could eat them already. All you have to do is warm them up. You know I'm talking about? Like I used to fucking just go after them. Uh-huh. Wow. 40,000 pounds of it. They had a recall. Those. Oh, Those sure. Um, yeah. That's a Ready tough to look. Eat pork sausage links. And I love Johnsonville. Their brats are built different. Like for mass produced brats. Cheddar I'm not talking cheddar. I'm obviously not talking like the meat locker. Like meat lockers, like in your local I don't towns. Know if I've never had these before. Those ones. I always get the regular. No, I just get brats. Yeah. yeah. But I'm saying like Johnsonville for being ma- like a mass produced brat, they do a hell of a job. Oh yeah. Real real Amazing. stand up. Real stand up job by the Johnsonville Brat Company. Agreed. One hundred percent. It is just their beer brats. I had brats on Saturday. Uh, he's talking about, uh, and sorry to cut you off, but uh, on Sunday, so there were some kids there, so I kicked some hot dogs. I was like, you know what? Like, just like the, the skinny little. You cooked some hot dogs? I thought you said you kicked some hot dogs. Cooked some hot dogs. Like, I'm not talking like a like a, a good hot dog. Now watch where you stand here. because I'm talking I'm, like I'm, the I'm small gonna, ones that like when you're younger, you see them cold. Name brand of it. What are they? Did you get Nathan's? I could tell you Did exactly. You get Oscar Mayer. I could tell you exactly what I got. Because there's three top dogs in my list of hot dogs that you can get. Um, because I'll fight you to the die on this one. <laughs> um, they weren't Nathan's. Oh, Nathan's are good. They weren't. O- Oscar Mayer's is fantastic. Don't look at me like that. The Wienermobile? Are you kidding me? Yeah. Sheer make? Sheer make's good. I'm pretty sure they were, were Oscar Mayer. Yeah, probably. Do they have a little seal on the top of them? Like a little Ziploc seal on the top of them? That's Oscar Mayer if it is. They aren't, they aren't that good. They're so skinny. Like, I want a, like a, I want a, I want a Jumbo Frank dog. Then get different ones. I'm sorry, Kyle. I didn't order the hot dogs. I got brats. So... Yeah, I'm a big brat guy. Uh, I love my, I love me a nice dog every now and again, though. So yeah, it makes sense. Um, yeah, but I like I said, I'll fight to the death if uh, anybody okay. wants to say there's difference in hot dogs. Like there's different brats, you know. You just go get a shitty brat from somewhere, and it's not good. I but had to imagine if people were listening to the podcast, the moment you just started talking there, they they just shut the podcast off. No, why? <laughs> <laughs> We're in an argument here. Hey, in the moment, you, I mean, Brendan's falling asleep when Kyle's off way to the death. If it's Frank's hot dog. It's fucking hot dogs. Okay. Um, on to the next thing. This is a big news. This is huge news. Not Wisconsin, but this is huge news. You ready? Ohio man Chad Dorman uh, 
is arrested and charged with the murder after killing his three sons. He allegedly lined them up and executed them. The kids were three, four, and seven years old. He had a daughter. She was running down the street saying, my dad's killing everybody. Good God. What the fuck is going on in Ohio? You've never seen, you didn't see this? Uh Uh-uh, I didn't see nothing about this. Yeah, so he's like in jail or he's like, he got arrested and he's in court right now. But he lined his kids up, um, three years old, four years old, and seven years old, and shot them with a rifle and executed them. So all I'm going to say here is bring the fucking chair back. Yeah, if, if he's alive still. Throw him in as much electricity as possible. Like just Is he still alive? Yes, he's in court right now. Ooh. Like, I, here's the thing is I'm not, I'm not all about executing people, like a, the chair, doing that kind of stuff. This guy's got to go. You kill your kids. I just got, I did, I'm now a newfound dad. Um, the problem with this. Bring the fucking chair back. Yeah, the problem with that whole thing. No, Kyle, it so say fucking it. Long. Bring the fucking chair back. He needs to struggle. He needs. He, no, I, I agree. The chair is the way to go if you're going to deal with No, okay. Things. Well, that sounded like you enjoyed it. I'm just saying, well, like, you, I mean, you could do it like the syringe way, whatever. But that's painless. This guy doesn't deserve his last meal. Mm-mm. Put him in the chair. You killed your kids, buddy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's awful. That's so fucking that terrible, man. Yeah, Ohio. I'm fucking Ohio. Man, Chad Dorman. Welcome to hell, buddy. That's where you should go. Do better. No. He's, well, he's not going to do better. He's going He's going to a place where you can't do better. I should say Ohio do better. Hope, like I said, bring the chair back. This I don't. There's no room in this world for this. Okay. On to the next one. We're keeping that fucking simple because he's an idiot. All right. What I wrote on the list here so Corey doesn't know is extra read all about it you wrote news here read all about oh, it you couldn't even read up what do we got though? I, I don't have it i have it on the page okay what do we got okay this is a big one yeah huge huge news Woo! 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 have you heard about the missing submarine have you brennan yeah Corey. I don't know what he's looking at. Is it not recording anymore? Hold on. Ruining my moment. Okay. Um. All right, let's restart. So, news here. Read all about it, Kyle. What do you got? Huge news? Yep. Big all news. right, guys. Everybody ready? So, have you heard about the... Yeah, did we just spend a minute so I could get a drum roll? I was roll? what the fuck was going on. Well, I was um, actually looking for like a... <gasps> like, a yeah. like a... Like a... You know, like yeah, well, the moment you said... Yeah, I tried. Um, okay. Have you heard anything about this submarine that's missing? No. You shit me. No. What, you wait, haven't heard about Chad Dorman, so wait, it looks like we're... Wait till you get home tonight and you look at TikTok or whatever. You'll okay. see a whole bunch of shit about yep. it. Because our phones are listening, but keep going. close. Like, okay, so... There's there's a submarine, 22 foot vessel that holds five people that have has five people on it that went and they were doing a Titanic shipwreck like viewing or they were doing like studies on it. It was a tour. What was it? Did it have scientists or anything on it or anything? Okay, so, so, but so that this like fucking to get down mm-hmm. there is like two miles down in the water, mm-hmm. and they go down, and they didn't come back. This was on Sunday. They're missing, and they they lost like, their, like they can't figure out where they are. They're gone. Uh, this morning when this this was posted, they still have, according to their calculations, forty eight hours of air left, and after that, that's done. That's it. You're, they can't. You know what I mean? They're gone. Mm-hmm. What uh what's your thoughts on that? Like what uh first off, would you ever do a submarine tour or anything? Are you really claustrophobic? Because I could fucking uh, couldn't do anything about Kyle, that. I'm not only Don't get me wrong, like we we've me and you've gone like on boat trips. Like I've been on the ocean. Don't get me wrong. Um the more the older I get, the more ocean phobic I'm I am. One hundred percent. Like sharks. Like, I remember Tia, they just went to Destin. Her aunt got sung by the, a god of war jellyfish. 
on her leg. Really? Yeah. I mean, she's fine. I mean, you think if you're named God of War, you should like, you're killing someone on the spot. Oh, yeah. thinking, but whatever. It's That's not, not the story. It's not light. But like, and then like, I see it and I felt like I, I was a dad and I'm like, shouldn't have been in the water. <laughs> <laughs> This is a real easy one, like folks. That's, like, that's why I'm such a freshwater guy. Like, I get in the water. You, don't get me wrong. There's there's northern and, like, muskies, like, like that have, like, teeth, but they're afraid of you. Yeah. You know, they're not coming they're by you. Not fuck there's you. nothing in there that's going to... Um, maybe a snapping turtle if you're going to real bad. I'm not looking for something that can eat me. Yeah. I, I'm... I, the more, the older I get, the more ocean phobic I get. Cause that. there's, there's like this, like I, and like the more videos that come out about like big sharks, like you see them and you're like, Oh, hell no. You know what I mean? Did like you see, this is a thing on the internet, which you can look for it. Mm-hmm. Did you see about the guy in Rome or Egypt that got ate? Mm. Like a 23 year old guy got ate by a shark. Mm-mm. And they, then they, that was the other thing. Not to jump off of this. So this this was like on the news that mm-hmm. you could go if you wanted to you could go look for it and you could mm-hmm. find the video of it. But um this guy got ate, they pulled whatever was off them out of the water, and then they hunted the shark down and killed him. How the fuck do you know what shark it is? It's You're just, just stabbing like, <laughs> the first one you see. <laughs> yeah, we got this one. Wax him. This poor shark's just fucking out there swimming. He's <laughs> having a ball. Um but I wouldn't even say that I'm the most afraid of the animals in the sea. It's the fucking, like this. You go down and you're like, oh, yeah, we're going to go on a boat. See you later. I, or, or I, I every once in a while get stuck on like a TikTok uh, algorithm where it's like, there is 35% of the ocean that has not been discovered yet. Yes. Yeah. And it's then like you're 75, like, 75, isn't it? Yeah. I'm like, what's in there? there? What the what's fuck? fuck? How deep is it? Like, we don't even know. Yeah, you ever flown, like, conspir- conspiracy theories? Oh, yeah. So, did you ever watch, like, did you ever watch the new um, Black Panther? Mm-mm. No, never mind. There's, like, a there's like a, another um, economy underneath the ocean. Like, is that real? Is there something out there like that? Like, <laughs> Who's down there? <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, but, yeah, no, I'm yeah. claustrophobic as all hell. So, clock's ticking. Like, I, when like when the dads used to, I'm sorry, but when the dads used to, like, put you under the couch pillows or, like, put you under the cushion, <laughs> and I would I would rather die than have to do that ever again. you're stuck there and your arms are like this, and you're like, you can't do anything. Like, you can't. And you're not strong enough to lift your dad up. And you're just know? freaking out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm claustrophobic, so hell no. I did see somewhere that... Like one of the main like um, scientists or whatever adventurists said, like y- you can't save them now; they're it's too late. But because they don't have enough air to get from the bottom to the top, it takes too long. It's like, oh, what if so, they're in that new colony that you're talking about? Right? What if they found like a new? What if they're just gone forever? Uh, that's what it seems like they are. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, our last new segment of the, of of the day is former McFarland Village President, McFarland, Wisconsin. Um, Bradley Zaboder, I said Zaboder, <laughs> charged with sexual assault of a person under the age of thirteen. So this is I saw this on Channel Three News. Um, apparently the the young girl uh told her mom that there was this guy who, and I I don't know if it was like a, a, a relative or I didn't really, there wasn't much other than it was a person under the age of 13 told her mom that there was this guy who w- has been touching her in, in a very r- wrong way. Mm-hmm. And apparently this guy was saying, do you want to see a magic trick? And then they, they would touch each, he would touch himself and her. Um, and he also said, if you tell anyone, we would go to jail. So, and he was a president of the McFarland Village. Um, little no, little known fact, the the girl was five. Yike! So, Kyle, what do we tell? What do we tell Mister Zaboter here? Um, what do get, we tell him? Get him to the chair. No, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, yeah. I'm saying, welcome to jail, buddy. Yeah, you're you're gone for a long time. That They're is gonzo. disgusting. What the fuck is wrong with people? Oh, people are weird, Kyle. You guys are pissing off core. Yeah. Be better. Do better. Mm -hmm. Stop being weird. Be better. Be better. Welcome to jail. (laughs) Zaboter. Okay. Um, Last, last couple things. This is a good one. This is a good one. This is a good one. 
So, did you just switch the camera 90 times on accident? Jesus. Crickets. Jiminy crickets. Uh, you can see when he flips. Yeah. You just, yep. So, I had a guy. Where is it? Okay. So, and I'm going to send these to our editor so everyone sees it. So, this guy, he mentioned, we had a video that we did uh, the top weirdest mascots in the state of Wisconsin for high schools. Um, it did well, over a million views. People loved it. I had a guy comment on it and say, or no, it looks like a girl commented on it and said, our mascot's the weirdest one. Can I send you photos? I said, head over to the gram, head over to the Insta, head to the Insta, send us some photos. So the, these guys are the, I not even look up. I probably should have. Maybe I could see it in the background. Oh, I can't. These guys are the comments. Kyle, if you had to define a comment, what's a comment? A ball of fire coming from the sky. Yep. Um, so, what in the fuck is that? It looks like a Martian. What? What is that? That is that an airbender? What? That, that picture looks way worse than the, the first. One what said, in yeah. the world? <laughs> Who knitted on that eighteen? <laughs> Talk about a weird mascot. Oh my gosh, I thought that was the funniest thing in the world. That this and and this person is from that town, Chloe. Uh she sent us these videos and like, hey, you guys saw you had some weird some weird mascots. Look at us. We're the comets. I'm like, uh, oh comets, that's not that bad. Not that bad but no, that, that but this this awful. mascot is you have to think that they let the kids like they made this Yeah. They made this outfit. There's, got, there's only one of them. There's only one of them. You know what I mean? Like, different schools have different mascots for different things. Mm-hmm. There's only one of those. That's That's been there for years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That makes me laugh so hard. Well, comments, that's, you guys are weird. That's <laughs> awful. Yeah, okay. Um. That's all I got. What do, you, do you have anything else? No, that's all I got. This weekend, we are golfing. Yep, we're having fun this weekend. <laughs> hitting up Dodge Point. We are, you know, eventually going to go... <laughs> Live. Um, what? Yeah, in Mineral Point. I yeah, love it. I love it. So it's beautiful. Fun. Yeah, so we're going up there. We're Go golfing in car. Alex Erickson's uh, Hodan tournament. And then Sunday we're golfing for a, a Catholic parochial school around here. Um, we're It's a it's a fundraiser, so we're going to be golfing in that on Sunday. Getting lit up like a Christmas tree, having fun uh, in the sun. So um, if you guys want, check us out on YouTube. Check us out on Check us out on TikTok, Spotify, on TikTok. Music. If you want to listen to our podcast, which I mean, here's the thing, Kyle, they're probably listening to our podcast right now. If they hear this, they're listening to our podcast. Uh, so why would well, we listen Spotify? to it next week? Yeah. Um, so if you want to see our video content, check us out on YouTube under Wisconsin Clothing Company, our podcast. All of our videos are there. If you want to check out our Insta or TikTok page where we do short form content, check us out. Wisconsin. Whoa, I was about to say Wisconsin going coming. You can check them out too. But with Shot of Wisco Pod, check us out. Last thing, we are sponsored by Wisconsin Clothing Company because I, I, you know, I own it. So we're gonna, awesome. uh, yeah. So tomorrow's the first official day of summer. It is June twenty first. Our summer drop is l- releasing. I'm wearing one of our shirts. Kyle, who is this? Chris Farley. Chris Farley. Uh, or Tommy Boy. Um, and is that a color? Comfort color shirt? Yes, it is. Fuck yeah. I'll have yes, one. it is. Yep. Or two or um, 20. It comes in different colors, but we have different stuff. We have golf wear for all you golfers in Wisconsin that can enjoy it for the three months a year. Whatever. Um, we have boating stuff, fishing stuff. Um, we have a funny shirt that on the back it says, sorry for what I said when I was docking the boat. Um we have Very true. new supper clubber stuff. We have new pull tab stuff. We also have UTV. If you like ATVs and UTV trails up north in Wisconsin, we now have UTV clothes for all you guys to wear. Hoodies, we have all of it for when you guys are out having fun up north on the trails. Um, what else we got? What else do we have? We also have a shirt that says... New hats. Keep, what? You got new hats? A couple, yeah. You got some buckets? Bucket hats? Yeah. Yeah, we have a bucket hat. Um, it's actually a golf hat. Um, it's played off Happy Gilmore. It just says, just tap it in. Oh, nice. Uh, so pretty darn cool. Um, 
So Darn we have a, we were, our team worked very hard. We are a small business in the state of Wisconsin, creating a Wisconsinite community. Uh, we we make clothing for Wisconsinites by Wisconsinites. Mm-hmm. You have to check us out at Wisconsin Clothing Co. on all socials. Check us out WisconsinClothingCo.com. We ship all throughout the state. We have boutiques. We have pharmacies that sell our clothes within the state of Wisconsin. Um, and we're just trying to make the biggest community of people that love the state as much as we do. So check us out, be a part of our community, be a part of the curd crew, be a part of uh, what we are trying to accomplish and create. Uh, but that is our show. Hope everyone has a wonderful weekend. It's supposed to be scorcher, a scorcher all week, a scorcher it's supposed to be hot all week. Yeah. It never, never fails. So get out in the, the sun. Enjoy it. Why we got it. I appreciate all you guys. Love all you guys. Cal, tell everyone you love them. Love you guys. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so we'll we'll see you guys later. See you next week. <laughs>